Hi everyone, Emily here, and today I'm going to be showing you another original design by me, this cute little french fry. If you've seen my hamburger and cookie videos, this will be also part of my food series, so I hope you like it. For this charm, you will need your rainbow loom in the staggered position, but you want your arrows to be facing towards you. You'll need your hook, and yellow and red rubber bands. So let's get started. So you'll be using double bands to make this. So take two yellow rubber bands and go down on the right. Take two more, go down in the center. Take two more, go down on the left. Now you're going to go down on all of them again, so double bands, oh my little face came out, I'll put it back in, there, taking two more bands, go down, two more bands, go down. Now we will do the part that keeps the fries all together, so two bands and go from here to here, and two bands and go from here to here. This allows the fries to stay together. Now taking two more yellow, go down, two more yellow, go down, and two more yellow, go down. This is what it'll look like when you've placed all your yellow bands. Now switching to red, go down, Go down, and go down, oops, I have three, take two, remember, double bands throughout this whole video, and go down, now go down another row, and you're going to go down two more rows. Except, this time, you're going to go to the center, but I'll show you that once we've done this row. Now, to do this, you're going to go from here to here, and here to here. That's how we get the fry to be pretty flat at the bottom. That's what it'll look like. Now we're going to be placing some holding bands. So take two red, put them over these three pegs so you have a triangle. Taking two more red, going over those three pegs making a triangle. And two more, going over those three pegs to make a triangle. Now we're going to be placing a cap band on this peg. I'm going to cap it over four times. It depends on how much or how tight you want it to be. So one, two, three, four. So now you have your cap band. Now we can start looping the bands. So get your hook. You're going to go into this peg and get the top two, and you're going to bring them out to the side, like that. Go back in, get those top two bands, and bring them out to that side, like that. Now you can hook the middle up, make sure you go inside those horizontal bands, like that. Now go into your left and hook the left. Think of your triple single bracelet. Like that. 
Now go back in, do the right. And make sure you see teardrops so you know you grabbed the right bands. That'll let you know you grabbed the right ones. And when you get here, this is the part where you're going to take these two bands and you're going to take them to the middle so your fry stays together. So go into this side, grab those top two bands and bring them to the center. I only grabbed one so I'm going to go get the other one. There. Take them to the center. And do the same thing on this side. Oh, I only grabbed one again, so I'm going to go back and get it. And bring those to the center. Now, again, loop up. On each side. Like that. And now, just do the center. So, on all those bands, I'm going to hold it sideways. Grab those two bottom yellow and hook them forward like that. Now, there is not going to be one slip knot. There's going to be three slip knots on all of those fries. So, take one single, go in here, and you're going to make a slip knot. And you're going to pull it tight. Take another yellow, make a slip knot in the center. The reason you're doing three slip knots is so that you can see the fries pop out so they're not all in the center and it doesn't really look like fries. I'll show you how you can tuck that away in a minute. Make a slip knot there and take one more yellow. Go in here and make one more slip knot. So you made slip knots on all three of those. This is what it'll look like when you're all done. Now you can use the back of your hook to take it off. Oh, that's my front of my hook. Gotta get the back. Be careful to not pull on all any one band. Otherwise it'll all fall apart and break. And you do not want that to happen. Considering how far you are, you're almost done. I'm going to use my fingers now. Careful not to pull one rubber band. And I'm going to use my right hand. I'm right handed. Let's get down. There. There's your fry. And as you can see, you have those slip knots. Now, to tuck those slip knots away, you're going to go. And here, pull your hook through and take your slip knot and just pull it through there so it's tucked away. Having a little hard time there. There. There's one. Now I'll go on this one. Tuck it. Let me get that again. This can be a little tricky if you've never done it before. Go in here and tuck that slip knot in there like that. And now you have your french fry. You can turn it, pull it, tug it a little bit to make it look as good as you want. You can adjust your slip knots better. If you want, one of mine fell out, I'm going to retuck it. It is a little tricky. You can just leave it like that if you don't want to bother with the slip knots and everything. So here are your french fries. I hope you like them. This is part of my food series, so if you've seen my video on the hamburger and cheeseburger, check that out. Uh, if you've seen my video on the cookies, check that out. If, and I'm going to be posting my milkshake with the cherry on top very soon. 
and I hope you liked this video. Comment, like, and subscribe to be notified when I post more videos. I hope you liked the Fry Charm, and you'll see all my new figures and charms coming soon. If you have any suggestions for me to do, just comment below or message me. So comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you like this charm, and happy looming.